Are you tired of being broken GTA Online? Having to do heists all day, but still having less than 10 mil? If you want to avoid all of that, you need an extra mods, where you can get money boosting, level boosting, and even modded accounts for all consoles and PC as well. It's not only easy to purchase, but they have 24-7 customer support and great reviews too. Check out extra mods in the description. Use coupon code JSTACKS for 5% off. You already know it's JSTAX Games. I'm just showing you guys how to get the gray and red joggers in GTA 5 online. All you're going to need is a facility. So just head on over to your facility and start up the Doomsday Scenario Heist. And we're going to start up the Escort ULP mission. So you could go ahead and do the prep or I just paid for it. So now that you start up the mission, just change the difficulty to hard and confirm the settings. And just go ahead and invite one of your friends to join up and help you out. Alright, so now that we're here, all you gotta do is just choose the joggers that you want. So as you can see, there's red and gray joggers. I'm gonna choose the gray ones. And just keep in mind that only the host will be getting the joggers. So just choose the ones that you want and wait till the mission starts up. Alright, so the mission started up, so now we're just gonna pull out an uh, explosive and we're just gonna kill ourselves, doesn't matter which explosive. And as you can see, it says mission failed, so now it's just gonna bring us back to this menu right here. Alright, so now that we're on this menu, we're not gonna press anything at all, just tell our friend to press continue. And we're gonna wait for the time to go down in the bottom right corner. So now we're gonna wait for the little loading circle in the bottom right corner, and then we're gonna disconnect our controller. So now we're just gonna reconnect our controller once our friend tells us that the mission has fully started back up again. So we're just gonna wait for them to tell us. And you should have no map. As you can see, I messed up and I have a map. So we're just gonna go ahead and do it again, do the steps all over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill myself right here. And it's gonna bring us back to this menu. Alright, so now we're not going to press anything, just tell your friend to press continue. Now we're going to disconnect our controller when we see the little loading circle in the bottom right. You can disconnect your controller through settings. So as you can see, we've seen it, so we disconnected it. And now we're not going to reconnect the controller until our friend tells us that the mission has fully started up again. Alright, so now that we spawn in with no map, you can see we've done it correctly. It might take you a couple tries, it's all about timing. So now we're just going to head on over to our vehicles, and we're just going to head to the gun store, and we're going to put on an earpiece. So as you can see, we put up to the nearest gun store to us. So now we're just going to put on an earpiece, doesn't matter which one, it could be any earpiece, just put one on. So now that you got the airpiece on, you are going to need to join a friend that's in a different session. And a friend that is on the mission with you right now is going to need to close the application at the same time that you joined the friend that's in the different session. So make sure you guys do that at the exact same time. So go ahead and do that. Alright, so now that you spawn in, you should have the great joggers. If you don't, you could just redo the steps and do it again. So now we're just gonna head on over to any clothing store to save this outfit real quick. Alright, so now we're gonna walk up to the counter and we're just gonna save the outfit on an empty slot. So I'm just gonna name it Grey Joggers. You guys can name it whatever you want. So now that it's saved, you could just go ahead and head on over to the shoes. And you could just change the shoes to um, anything so you can have no ankles as you can see. And the outfit's fully customizable. So now I'm just going to show you guys another method on how to get the red joggers in GTA 5 Online. 
All you need is a friend that's willing to help you out. All that friend needs is a mobile operation center with the mission unlocked called Work Dispute. I'm going to show you guys right here real quick what it looks like. Alright, so your friend will just need to enter the mobile operation center and just start up the Work Dispute mission and invite you. So I'm going to show you here real quick. You just go here to start up the mission on this little TV and it's right here at the bottom work dispute. Have your friend invite you to that mission work dispute and all you're going to want to do is just put the difficulty on this mission to easy if you guys both want joggers. If you guys only one person wants joggers which is you for the red joggers you don't got to worry about it at all. So now as you can see your friend invited you to work dispute so now all they got to do is just start it up. Alright, now that the job's starting, all you're going to want to do is just fly over to the Eclipse Towers. That's where I'm heading. That's where my apartment is. I'm not sure if it works on every single apartment. You guys could try and let me know. But we're, in this video, I'm just going to be heading to the Eclipse Towers. I'm pretty sure everyone at least has the Eclipse Towers. So that's where we're heading. So we're just going to glide on over there. We almost there. Alright, so now that we finally got here, we just landed, touched down. So now we're just going to hop off our pressers and we're just going to go up to that little blue circle right here. And we're going to make sure we're standing fully in the circle and we're going to hold a grenade and cook it to blow ourselves up. As you can see, we did that because we cannot enter the building, but now that we blew ourselves up above that, we can enter, as you will see right here. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Have your friend do that as well if they want the joggers too. As you can see, now we can enter the apartment. It doesn't matter which apartment, just choose any if you have multiple. Alright, so now you can see that we entered our apartment, we still have the joggers, we still have the outfit. So now we're just going to go down to our closet and we're going to save the outfit. Alright, as you can see, we're about to save the outfit right now. Just save it on any empty slot or whatever you remember that it's saved on. And then you're just going to want to exit the job. And tell your friend to save the outfit too if they want the joggers and you guys can exit the job at the same time. So now we're just going to wait until we spawn in. Alright, as you can see we spawned in. So now I'm just going to head back inside the apartment. You don't have to. You could go to clothing store if you want to just go customize the outfit. But it's right in front of me. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys that it worked. So I'm just going to head over to our closet. And as you can see, we go to outfits. Save. And it's right here. So now I'm just going to change the shoes just to make sure, just to show you guys that it has no ankles. And I'm going to show you the top is fully customizable as well. As you can see, no ankles, there you go. And you can just save it again. That's how you get a no ankles. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if this works for you. Join my Discord, we're building a GTA 5 community. And you already know, man, it's Chase Games, we out.